Heather, I think you already know this, but I carry a saucy picture of you <laughs> in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I also carry the tram ticket from the Point of Good Hope in South Africa, which until today was the most important day of my life, the day you agreed to marry me. Chris and Heather's love story, like everyone's love story, is unique and one of a kind. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't just happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your own story together. Dear Heather, we were always meant to find each other. I can feel that in my heart. Chris, I want to say thank you. I've grown so much, grown into a person that I truly love because you are in my life. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, but first thing is first, I can't wait to marry you. Chris, since the moment you pulled my name from that Pilsner pinata nearly five years ago, you have filled my world with life, laughter, energy, and happiness. It didn't take long for me to realize that you would be my forever. I promise to never let the spark between us fade, to keep it light, playful. I promise to take care of you when you're sick, and lend a patient ear when you need to vent about your day. Heather, you have been a source of pride for me and our entire family since the day we brought you home from the hospital. You make me see life and its challenges differently. And I know you don't even know you do that. And I love you for it. I have never been a believer in the word soulmate until I saw Heather and Chris together. I truly believe the two of you were meant to be, that you are soulmates. I love how Chris loves my flaws and he doesn't ever ask me to be someone else. I love her soul. I love her mind, her kindness. I love that we've found each other. I promise to dream big with you and always say yes to adventure. I promise to not only grow old together but to grow together. I promise to practice patience because we both know I'm not very good at that sometimes. <laughs> You're my best friend, and I promise to see this through, no matter what the future holds. You keep good company, Heather. Good people that will stick with you because your magnetic personality just won't let them go and that includes me. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so happy you found someone as wonderfully weird as you. I'm here to welcome Heather to our family. She's always been our family. We saw it right away, you know, what a great fit. I'm not married myself, you know. <laughs> I actually never saw the point, but now I do. <laughs> well, five years ago, Chris comes into Heather's life. We didn't meet him right off the bat. We only saw pictures. He was a little unsure. Of course, everyone knows because we've been talking about it all night. Chris had an excellent, bold, nay, triumphant mullet 
and his name was Winston. I miss him so much. <laughs> so I'd just like to raise a toast to Winston. Uh, it's blank. <laughs> Stop it. Just kidding. <laughs> I can't wait to start a family with you. I promise to be a great father, a great husband. I promise to make so many more special memories, even if I have to get a bigger wallet. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for coming. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, okay, so that's it. Thank you. Heather wanted me to thank all the Albertans for coming to BC and enjoying our wine. I did not say that. <laughs>